welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're back with the zucchini. We're going to make chocolate chip zucchini muffins. So, I got a stick of butter in here melted. Now, don't worry about the recipe written out. Scroll down under the video. It's all written out for you. A cup of packed brown sugar. Two eggs. Some ground cinnamon, some vanilla extract. Now I've already got my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> let's, let's get our whiskey. Then we have our zucchini that has been shredded. And did you know you can freeze zucchini? Sometimes I shred it and then portion it out like one cup, two cups like for recipes, like for zucchini bread, muffins, whatever. And then you just thaw it out. I squeeze some of the water out of it. Did you know it's going to get a little bit waterier? Um, is that a word? Probably not. As it thaws out. And then I just go ahead and use it in the recipe. So we got our zucchini in there. Now in this bowl right here, <coughs> we have got a purpose flour, salt, bacon powder, and bacon soda. Now, if you're using self-rising flour, you just need the salt, but you don't need the living agents, which is your baking soda and baking powder. Now, we're just going to put this right in here like this. And mix it. And then we're going to put some chocolate chips in here. You could put some nuts in here, too, but I'm... I don't have no wal walnuts or pecans. I'm not coughing on it. I'm up over it by the stove. <clears throat> so I had to get my kitchen shears to cut the top of my uh, chocolate chip back off. So I'm probably using half of a bag. So, um, about four ounces. If you do as many chocolate chips, dark milk, milk chocolate, Semi-sweet, white chocolate. Heck, I think you can be good with peanut butter chips. Maybe butterscotch. Okay, we're all mixed in. Now let's get our pan, cupcake liners, and our cupcake pan. Um. I go ahead and spray my little cupcake liners too because you know sometimes <coughs> the batter likes to stick. And 
and I love using liners for muffins and cupcakes. So, I'm going to take me a big old scoop right here. I'm going to scoop out. Let me put it over here because I can't reach it. That way, they all have even portions. cupcake or muffin is littler than the other. You could put you some coconut flakes in here if you want to. You do it however you want. I might not get 12. Not just get 11, but that's okay. <coughs> Go ahead and get some of this over here. Fill my little last little muffin. Make sure it's So we don't need this one. Take that one out. I can attach them up. Into the oven. 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. We'll see you in the next video when they come out.